Right, well, welcome back to part two. Uh, now, in the last bit, I had just finished the outer panels. So let me just show you, that's the outer panels are both done. Um, I am just going to add, uh, I think I'm going to add a fillet just here, just to stop when I put the covering on. And I'm umming and ahhing about what wingtip to do. Now, uh, it's, the trouble is this, this laser lark gets a little bit addictive. So, the next thing I've got to think about is obviously centre panel. And we've got to think about battery and radio. So, buoyed with the success of tinkering, uh, I thought to myself the best way to put the battery, remember flying wing, going to need to wait forward anyway, that I was going to either stick it there like this or stick it there like that, well that's not the obvious one to do, so got all carried away and uh, rushed down, got on my laptop and decided obviously obviously buzzing with the success of everything else, I thought yeah, easy, pop down a corridor, I'll soon uh, knock out couple of ribs so the idea was I wanted to obviously going to cut that main rib away for the battery to sit down I thought well that needs strengthening so I thought I'll tell you what Nick make some uh, ply ribs and put a little slot in it so oh, I duly did that and come rushing back up here and oh, that looks pretty cool but this needs to be a bit thicker but uh, yeah that's the top of the rib isn't it and I need to be working from underneath <laughs> So that by the time I cut it out, went to fit it in and thought, why doesn't that fit? I then realised. Anyway, rushed back, changed it round, and I have put myself two ply braces. You check me. Um, also, uh, just I don't know if you guys want to watch me doing that type of thing I really don't know I say I am no expert and I must spend half my time uh, messaging Andy Whitehead asking his advice about coral draw but um, if people would like to see more of their like the laptopy type stuff and then whacking it out on the laser mistakes and all please make a comment in the bottom uh, and I, I never understand what it is people actually enjoy so um, if you do enjoy or you're thinking about getting a laser and you'd like to, you know, see how I get on with this, then please just make a comment and say more laptop. Yeah, that's what we'll say. Just say more laptop. Anyway, I am now going to cut this out for the battery to go in. Because it's a flying wing and I'm not sure the CEG at the moment, what I might do is stick the battery in, stick the uh, wings and the fins on and then um, I might have to, because obviously I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to have some weight, let's be honest, it's a flying wing. Um, and then I've got to think about a little hatch. Now, I've got to be honest with you, um, half, well, 90% of Nick's head is going on, yeah, yeah, go on, design a little ply hatch. And I'm like, you've got to be really careful with this because you could end up spending all your time designing and not actually building it so I'm just going to do this battery and then I'm going to talk to you about um, where it's all going then it's just literally going to be sheeting the bottom of the wing which you don't really need to see me do and then uh, we'll be onto some covering Ooh. and I kind of just say I have actually thought of an epic idea as a second one from this it's very clever in fact it was so clever Andy, Andy Whitehead fainted and uh, he didn't call me back for an hour because he just couldn't believe it anyway let me crack on with this and I'll get back to you so I'm just going to uh, cut some new fins because I want to do some experimenting with the fins and I was going to show you on the laser with a little bit of Depron oh sorry <laughs> I can't see a thing in these. <laughs> right, so I'm going to do a couple of sets of fins. I'm doing them in Depron. It's dead easy. And I'm going to show you how I make them. Uh, but it just I'd like to experiment with some different shapes. So let me just quickly show you. Uh, there we go. That's it on uh, K40 Whisperer. There's my design. And uh, what we always check for is we've got good flow on the water pump. We got the temperature, in fact actually it's so hot outside I've actually got a freezer bottle um, in the water 
to keep it cool and we've got the water on, the air drive on, the computers on, the laptops on, the lasers on so all we're going to do now is I've got the laser set to 12 I'm now going to get got that set to 25 I'm now going to hit the laser bit naughty but let me show you bit naughty having the top up I know because this Defcon gives off fumes but I just thought once just to show you guys just how quickly it just honestly it's just I'm addicted to it but very interestingly this um, it makes it up as it goes along about where it's going to actually cut everything so uh, these ones I'm doing in 9mm it's that uh, foam from B&Q uh, it's called D-I-A-L, dull and um, insulation sheet. So you do it in 3mm, 6mm, and then 9mm. I think they might even do a bigger size for this. Prototyping is absolutely perfect. And you can see here is all I've done is I've taken the design of the um, rib and then I've just basically taken the end of the end rib of the mid cord and then I've just given myself a done a design around it which we'll talk about more if people are interested but like I say oh there we go done look at that look I take the foam down because otherwise it blows around with the air drive look look at that look 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 beautiful right I'll get back to building Batteries in. So the idea is batteries in the front, and I'm going to load this down to the back. Put the receiver here. Um, you might be looking at it going, oh, "What is stuck it like that for?" I'm assuming I might have to add some uh, weight to the front. So at the moment, obviously this is a prototype. So uh, I'm going this route at the moment. Uh, that little um, the spars, the little side ribs I made, but they've just, I had to trim those slightly. So I just need to make a note on the bits and pieces that I'm finding wrong with it as I'm going along. Uh, so right, the next thing for me to do now is um, I'm gonna sheet the uh, leading edge, leading edge. I'm gonna sheet this and then we're gonna look at uh, doing some little canopy here I was thinking about design and apply thing but the thing I like I said before I need to calm down because uh, the bottom line is we want to go and fly it and you could spend a lot of time just tinkering anyway let me get the sheeting done and I'll get back to you got up early this morning just smashed out this little ply uh, yeah I could have laser cut it but like I said I need to calm down because I keep doing everything on the laser. I'm never going to build anything. But anyway, outside, inside, a little bit of strength. Bottom panelling. Right then. Update. Outer panels uh, obviously need some wing tips. I'm going to put wing tips on and I think I'm going to put a little fillet in here because when we cover it, we don't want that pulling in but I'm gonna see what it's like after I've got the wing tip on. <laughs> wing tips. So, obviously buoyed with the excitement of, uh, oh look, I can do laser cutting now. Um, I came up with that wing tip, dead chuff with that, but soon realized even at three mil, I was gonna need a load. So look, Oh, of course, by the time I've sanded it, that ain't going to look like that, is it? That's going to be missing, so try better, Nick. Um, then the other interesting thing was, was I did that. And to be fair, um, I've been at it all evening. I'd had a busy day in the clinic and uh, just wasn't concentrating. So there's a lovely right one. There's another lovely right one as well. 
So, <laughs> I'm not too worried. Uh, it, it's it's all a learning experience and uh, if you can't laugh at yourself then there's, you need to have a word with yourself quite frankly. So I'm going to glue these on. I think what I might actually do is I might just pencil where the rib goes on the side and do some pre-planing pre first. But that's my tips. They fit very nicely with the aileron. So these are going on. They're going on there and then now one last thing I've got to show you is I've installed all the sheeting. Now um, I have made myself a little hatch to go here, but that's just going to be taped. Remember, we can get away with this because this is a prototype. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is I've got this sheeting here, which is all cut to size. So my plan is, what I'd like to do is I'm going to cover as much as possible, get the C of G right, and then finish this last bit. Uh, but i tell you what, with that sheeted, it's as stiff as a plank. Oh, it is a plank. <laughs> right, I'm going to uh, get these ready for, well, basically, I'm just gonna get them ready to cover now. Um, I might even just get it all finished and then come back to you, but at the moment, I'm really pleased with it. Uh, there are some issues which I'm gonna talk about at the end, I think, which, and it's more to do, it's not the laser, it's more to do with my misinterpretation of wing helper, which I need to speak to Alex about. Um, but I will talk to you about that when we've got it finished. We're nearly there. Sorry if it's gone on for a while, but uh, like I say, if you like the long, this whole project in this format, just make a note and I'll see you shortly. And there she is. I'm calling this, unless everybody decides on a different name, I'm calling this the Petrol. In full tribute to the skewer, let it be said. She's come in at 470 grams, sadly. But we all know this is the problem with uh, flying wings. Uh, she has come at, I think there's about 80 grams in the nose. Um, I've taken the C of G off my, my original skewer was about 55% so I'm working it around that. Now let me just show you what I've done at the bottom or the underneath. I've got a hatch here, that's where the battery and obviously the weight's got a little hatch there for the receiver. And you might notice I've got, remember this is a plug-in wing, so this is going to be a bit like the SOAS, so this is going to fold lovely right down into it. I'm going to make a bag for it. Uh, so I've also I've got these fins and I've also as you saw in the video I've cut these fins as well. Um, little top tip if you live in the UK and you go down to Lidl and Parkside are doing this clear tape it is brilliant. So literally I've punched them out on the laser got the magnets in so I've got a obviously magnet on the main panel magnet here and a magnet the other side rock solid and then all I've done is I've just taped, I've just literally just laid the tape over the top of it. So that's a second set of fins to try. Um, obviously, I can't remember if I showed you in the video, but when obviously, pre, as I was learning it, <laughs> this was the original fin that I came up with <laughs> and then managed to enlarge it. But that's the beauty of that uh, B&Q foam. You can just do like loads of prototype and it's a great way for me to learn. So I'm off to the slope once again. Andy Whitehead, I can't thank you enough. Um, it's, I was completely unexpected. And thank you very much, buddy. It's a wonderful gift and you didn't need to do that. I know the reasons why you did it, but uh, thank you very much. And with everybody uh, that follows my channel, or the couple of people who've just literally got in contact with me to do build um, videos. I don't ask for money. I literally just do it for the love of the uh, hobby. Um, and I will see you very shortly. Well, very shortly, because we're gonna be on the slopes with the petrol. See you soon.